Hi, my name is Reverend Rose and welcome to my channel. I've had a lot of questions lately from some people who have asked that I not mention their name and that's okay. Pretty much about how do I feel about being a Christian and an eclectic, spiritualist, Wiccan, pagan, whatever. I don't know a whole lot about paganism and Wiccans as much as my daughter does, cute which 772. For more answers on uh, being pagan, I would go to the Pagan Perspective channel. But I can tell you what I feel. Um, there were so many questions, I, I my, my mind was going like this, just trying to process all of them. So I'm just going to tell you what I believe and how I feel. And yes, my background is Christian. I was brought up, a lot of people say I was born and raised, well I wasn't born that way, but I was brought up and raised Catholic, Roman Catholic. Um, so yes, I do still have some things stuck in here that have been drilled in my head since then. But I've pretty much gone into the Christian non-denominational belief, Christian being as though I still believe as Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. However, how can I say that it's okay to call God, God, or God and Goddess, or whatever the other religions call him? In my mind and in my belief system, there is only one God, no matter what you call him or her, or how you worship him or her. Now, I, like I said, I don't know a lot about deities from other religions I would like to learn, so please send me any information that you can. Um, my daughter tries to tell me about all the different ones, but I've just not, not gotten enough time with her to actually study that all. But I believe there's only one God, um, the higher being, God, goddess, whatever you want to call him or her. I mean, who knows? We really don't know. I believe as long as that you are a good person and that you you keep your faith in whatever it is that you're doing and you believe in what you're doing and your heart feels good about what you're doing, then I don't believe that you're doing anything wrong. Um, I, I like to say that I'm an eclectic spiritualist because I have taken parts of paganism. I've taken parts of the nature part of some of the spells and some of the, I don't even know how you would say it, some of the ways of my cleansings and my blessings and the things I do in my everyday life, some of those do come from paganism and some of them come from Wiccans. I just feel that they're good. So if they're good to me, I don't classify them as Christian paganism or Wiccan. I just use them because I'm using them for good and everything is for good and God is for good so I don't see how doing something from a pagan belief that's still good for my God who is good I, I see no difference in that <coughs> excuse me one of the other questions that I was asked was about the Bible what parts of the Bible do I believe in well, the Catholic part of me wants to say that I believe in every part of the Bible. But the human part of me wants to say that I believe in the book of Psalms. And I say this because I went into a meditation one day. My daughter was with me. She'll probably never, I'll never forget it. And I was getting ready to do a sermon. And I do have such mixed beliefs because the Bible has been re rewritten so many times by so many men in so many different versions, how do we know they didn't get it wrong? You know, how do we know that they didn't word something wrong? Um, I do believe the Lord did die and, and to save us of our sins, and he did rise again. I believe in that, but I also believe in spirit communication. So I'm, if God is spirit and we can communicate with God, then why can't we communicate with others? Um, I... I went into a meditation once and I asked, uh, what part of the Bible can I really trust? What part of the Bible can I know is really from? It's not going to hurt anybody. It's, it's not going to do anything wrong. It's, 
It's not going to give us false hopes or false beliefs or make us think, wait a minute, and if our God is such a good God, why is he doing this? That's kind of mean. That's Old Testament versus New Testament stuff. It's just mind-boggling. But I, I got this voice in my right ear so loud that I, I, I jumped up out of my seat because I thought somebody was standing next to me, and that voice simply yelled Psalms, and I will never forget that. So I do believe in the book of Psalms, and Psalms are praise and worship to our Father. Um, they're praise and worship, they're prayer, they're actually I have found a lot of, um, I've found a lot of comfort in the book of Psalms. So yes, I, I, I do read the Bible, but I really hold on to the book of Psalms. I don't know if I have answered your questions. Um, I don't. I mean, I, I have my Christian altar, and I have my eclectic altar. And by eclectic, I just say that I take a little bit from each religion. Um, I even had a Buddha statue in my bedroom. So I just, it's whatever you feel is good. That's how I feel. I, I don't feel that if you are a Christian, you wouldn't be slamming anyone else. For their beliefs or for how they believe secretly or not secretly Christians just do not should not slam us yes we are supposed to pass on the word of our Lord we're not supposed to sell it for personal gain of our own so that leaves out anybody who's Jehovah Witness going around selling the word of God because that's not what our father wanted us to do he wanted us to give his word away so however we interpret his word, as long as we are spreading his light and his kindness, or her light and her kindness, I can't stress enough that I really don't think it makes a difference. I think that you can classify yourself Christian slash pagan. Yeah, I think it still works. Um, me, I'm Christian slash eclectic spiritualist. And a spiritualist just believes in a lot from the universe. As above, so below is what I say. Look up universal law, and that will also help you out a lot, too. It helps you out with the eclectic part of it and the spiritualist part of it. So, once again, I hope I felt. I, I don't think I could have heard anything. <laughs> and you all have a blessed night. Love you all. Love and light to every one of you. And thank you for watching.